Good evening, you're very welcome to Shaw's Bridge here tonight. So the lovely setting here in South Belfast is hosting this Belfast Derby between Cook and Malone. And straight away, Cook knocking on there from the restart. A bit of poor handling from there from, from Cook, Naomi McCord. A bit unfortunate. Let's see what Cook can do with this first scrum. Yeah, the nice fixture, of course, is the Energy League 9th to 10th place playoff. So, and, it, and of course, there's also the bragging rights of a, a Belfast derby. And Cook with the upper advantage have played Malone twice this year and have come away with the, the spoils on both occasions. And just here in the first minute, we've already got a, a scrum to Malone, but a ball squirts out the side. Referee Gary Trainer says, play on. Cook putting the Malone scrum under immense pressure there. That very experienced front row, doing well there. Let's hope that sets it up for the season. And joining me in cool country, as you may have heard there, is Gemma McCauley. Gemma, you're very welcome to Shaw's Bridge. Of course, you've got ties, links with both clubs. You've donned the jersey of both sides. So yes, I have. No better person to have <laughs> here by my side to keep you right. Albeit I may be a little bit biased to today towards my, my home club. but Yes, that home club, of course, <laughs> now is, is Cook. It's Cook, yes, absolutely. But we'll see how we go on. And Malone, yep. they've made a lot of changes from last week. They've only... Six survivors from that clash at Gibson Park, which Cook ran out 31-3 winners. But they started on the front foot, very positive start. Mm -hmm. Plenty of experience on both sides, with Ulster players featuring strongly in both the starting teams. There There's a big carry from there. Sarah Murphy. Sarah Murphy getting into the into the thick of things, good and fast. And here's the, the vastly experienced captain, Peter McAllister. That's a lovely kick into the corner there, and just putting the, the Cook girls on the back foot there, and uh, asking, the, asking the, a few questions of the of the Cook defence there. Uh, Peter's stepped into 10 and has been doing a really good job after losing their uh, Alexa Grudgings earlier in the season. She's, she's been doing a really good job. Yeah, of course, Peter, the uh, vast experience there with Ulster as well and, and showing her class there. And just a wee bit of good brain management there, good, good game management. So That's first line out of the game, the wind has died down. So hopefully it will stay Stay pretty low. It's been quite a blustery one day afternoon here in Belfast, but here we go. The first line is Cook. Good clean throw from Megan Simpson there. Simpson picking out uh, McCord, but quick ball off the top. I'm not too sure if that was the intention there, but that's what happened. But Cook have regallered, taking possession. There's a good carry from Ashley. Ashley O'Connell there. O'Connell, yes. And Cook just happy just to keep, in, keep possession there, picking and going. As they work their way out, and they're building up an exit strategy here. So there's Ashley Orchard kicking right footed. A great clearance kick there. And Brilliant. Chased down by Holly Brown. Right up the halfway. So a good start from Malone there, but uh, Cook seemed to get out of their 22 there without too much trouble at all there, Gemma. Yeah, very good. Yeah, uh, the, the addition of Ashley Orchard has definitely brought an awful lot of experience into the, the Cook back line there. The pitch itself. Isn't in bad condition, too bad condition, considering we just had a, a men's game here. Of course, the Stonians playing Cook, a big, the big derby here. Both, of course, both clubs sh use the Shaw's Bridge base as their as their home ground. A little bit of a scrappy throw there from Katie Ann McCallion. Although this is her first senior season up, and her first uh, first few matches um, up for the senior team. So we'll see how she gets on today. So we've got the second scrum of the game. It's also the Malone's second scrum. Let's see if I can go like Sheree Wilson be hoping for a better ball, quicker ball, and a steadier scrum from our teammates. And that's that's just collapsed there. And referee guard trainer just going to have a word. And we'll reset. Yeah, it's it's you know, Cook have a very, very experienced pack. Um, and they'll very much be looking to put their name down and uh, dominating those scrums. Yeah, I see. And the pack itself, Cook have uh, five Ulster players. So you, you'd expect uh, the, f the Cook forward unit to dominate the proceedings here. So here's there's the put in, put in by Wilson. Oh, and good scoop out from Norm McGuinness Norm there. Norm McGuinness doing very, very well. Yeah, still going. Great pick and go, great handling there at the back of that scrum. We're on halfway. There's Almost Hannah Beattie carrying out on her own. Let's hope she has some support in. Good clear out from Jill Stevens. Uh, and else is challenging that. <laughs> Chasing down Terrell at the back. <laughs> Looks like the ball's gone free. Great. And the referee's called it there. 
Oh, and Malone looking to oh, tap and go. Oh, big quick tap and go. Sherelle Wilson just... Oh, ah, but nobody her. else just quite on the same wavelength, but they do regather. Sarah Murphy picking and going on the 10 metre line. Then. There's Jenna. Could continue on the build on their promising start. Cook doing very well, they slow the ball down. Stratton doing very well, they uh, Captain Peter. Stay the under. But oh, and, oh. And if Jana McQuillan had got her hands on that ball, she had the, the freedom of the Shaw's Bridge pitch there. Just that execution just letting Malone down. But I promise to start from Malone. Yes, absolutely. It seems they've, they've taken on their lessons from last week's loss and they look to be trying to stamp their mark early on. Yes, of course, a, a tough loss for them to take, losing the heavily, so heavily on their home turf and with so many changes as well. Absolutely. Like I said, only six survivors from that game last week. The odds will be heavily stacked in Cook's favour tonight. I think with, with so much experience in both teams, um, I think there's still plenty of opportunity for either side to step it up and take the game today. Yeah, and saying that, they've got uh, six Ulster starters as well. Um, including Hannah Beattie and Fern Wilson in the second row, as well as uh, we've already talked about their captain McAllister from play half, but Jill Stevens and Holly Brannigan. Mm -hmm. so they'll be looking to get those two involved from runs from the deep and another powerful cook scrum. I believe this is Jill Stevens debuting 12 for Malone as well after unfortunately losing Ella Durkin this week. Uh, Malone will be missing her today as she's such a powerful runner. Uh, There's a quick loss of hands from, from Peter McAllister there. Balls come loose. Yeah, and as, just as we say that, the one just, just decided to pick up. There's an, another scrum, seemingly. Oh, that, that looks like Fern Wilson coming on there. She's a powerful, powerful player. Although we normally see her on the wing, um, her physicality, I think, will be appreciated wherever she is on the pitch. Mm. Bit, of a, bit of a late comer there, so Donna McGovern has been just pulled ashore there. short of 10 minutes Big to play hit. here and uh, it looks like Cook's already starting to get a good push on there there's Tia Maguire's just picked the ball up from the back Srinna Dolly a little chip who's going to catch it Holly is taking it well it's good 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 cover in there from the, the Malone fullback Holly Brannigan oh and then straight into action Fern Wilson no time for warm-up straight out of the car <laughs> straight onto the pitch and that's her warm-up there Straight into the hands of Beattie. Good carry. Good carry. She was caught yep. there by Katie Hetherington for Cook. Nice wee dummy there from Wilson at scrum half. And it's back to McAllister. This time it's Big carry Lauren McGuinness. Lauren McGuinness. There, at first receiver. The ball's a bit slow and a bit scared me one. Yes, and referee, referee trainer. Penalty for offside this time alone. Just taking a, a little bit more time. No quick tap and go this time. That's just a slower version. Here we go, and Lauren McGuinness. Straight into Ashley Baxter. <laughs> <laughs> always, <laughs> always. <laughs> wasn't looking to play around uh, there. Straight for the out half. Number eight's all love it. There's a big carry the from backs. Peter. And it looked like, uh, was that Megan Simpson? Big hit there. Yep, Megan Simpson. <laughs> I think she knocked herself there as well. So Malone's starting very well here on the front foot, but they've lost oh. possession, but they're going to win another scrum here. As Cook finding the... Cook's having the they haven't settled quite right quickly. You see there again, that's a, a couple of knock-ons, a couple of spillages. Yeah, Malone, I think... Malone have maybe caught them on the hop. Yeah, definitely. I think Cook need to take this time now and, and settle themselves into the game. Malone oh. doing very, very well because they, they actually are playing into the wind. <coughs> but it's just that final ball. The execution there if they get into the right area. So here we go. It's another scrum. Non-blown scrum and they'll be looking for a quick ball and they've very, worked that very, very well. There's Jana McQuillan not oh, finding any, any joy in that quick back line. Great counter rock in there. There's Amanda Morton chasing hard yep. down, putting the pressure on Fern, and Holly's picked it up now. Holly Brannigan doing very, very well there. 
riding a couple of tackles before All right, Shirelle's picked. going down. Straight into Peter's hands. McAllister and then... Actually Sarah trying to get the jackal there. Yeah, and, and Sarah Murphy doing brilliant work there to break down. Protecting her teammates. And there's Cook. Cook in again there. Through Katie Heverington. And is that going to be held up? No. There's a nope. player's gone to the ground. Wilson. McAllister. Straight into back to Back to McGuinness. That's been... Oh, that's sorry, that's Wilson that time. Yeah, for Wilson. That's definitely part of the game plan. Uh, look, oh, oh that's a that was a good kick from Peter McAllister there. Um, where's this oh, going under to a land? lot of pressure. A lot of pressure. Oh, just stayed in. Dolores oh, Hughes. It's gone out. A gallant effort from Dolores Hughes to keep that ball in, but all she's done is just presented the, the line out to Malone. So another uh, smart bit of play there from Malone. Uh, McAllister liking to kick that time. I was just about to say they were doing a lot of running. They're always looking for the runners coming off. Mm -hmm. uh, McAllister's shoulder there, but that time they mixed it up a bit. And like you say, under pressure, a lovely kick in. And, and we'll the see what, what they can do now. Yeah, absolutely. They've put themselves in a great position here. Let's see if they're able to come out of the 22 with any points. No, in fact, this, it is a cook line out. Uh, we thought the touch judge signaled a, a Malone line out. A right, good clean ball from oh, Megan. And good oh. hands there in the middle end there from Naomi McCord. Cook are looking to just build a few faces, see what they can do. Pin back in their in their own 22, but they do have a one advantage if they're going to ever cleared. That's a good kick from Dolores Hughes. Dolores oh, Hughes. just out of the hands of Polly Brannigan yeah. there. She's Polly looking to just can't quite control that. But oh, is that potentially a knock on? No, she's handing oh. the ball. Referee says the ball didn't go forward, so we'll play on. Play on. Looking a little bit narrow here at the minute from both teams. Yes, there's quite. <laughs> seem to be on. I'm on the side of that <laughs> the far pitch there. Actually, Curry on her knees, right, looking, looking to move the ball. Spread it a little bit wider. Laura McGuinness cutting into the middle of the pitch. Laura McGuinness has seen a lot of the ball oh. earlier on, and then there's young Kelly. Uh, Kelly Cormel making a nuisance of herself. McAllister, lovely side step there into the right, but was she held? No, she wasn't. But she was certainly held there by her opposite number, actually Orchard. There, that's a, it's all the possession. All has been with Curry. Alone so far. Actually, Curry. Nice Beatty to carry again. Straight into Naomi McCord. <laughs> Clash of the second rows. Oh, and, oh, oh, and Laura McGuinness picked. Oh, just a spill. There's Tay Maguire's got a good gather. And a little chip. Let's see if she's Holly able McGuire to. Straight into there. the hands into Holly. Holly Brannigan doing very, very well. Great step chips, from chips Holly Brannigan. From Claire Johnson and Megan Simpson. And but just held on there on the ground. Yes, the ball just not coming back there quick enough. Kelly. Was that Ashley Ashley O'Connell perhaps making herself an, a yeah, nuisance there in that she rock? absolutely was. Straight, <laughs> down there. Straight in there, plenty of experience. Uh, Ashley knew what she was doing going in there. So Malone be disappointed all that pressure, been on the 22 a couple of times, and all that was the game's possession. Nothing to show for it, but a disappointing kick there from Cook, failing to find her touch, and with the one. So Anna. That was a good kick from young Anna. Anna Stan Stanfield. Ashley Orchard nice. chasing that down. See if she's able to get round. Oh, and this is past the cool Rafferty there. And oh, excellent. Big carry there from Orchard. <laughs> Very big. Let's see what Cook are able to do without their 10. There's Ilsa Van Staten making her first yes. big carry of the match. Yes, the vastly experienced Ilsa just doing what she does best. <laughs> Absolutely. A great and servant of the local game down the years for not just Cook, also, and also Ireland. There's another good carry from Young India Daily. Back into Ilsa's hands. Let's see what she's able to do with it this time. Cook decided to go down the narrow side. Oh, there's a take from Kitty Hetherington. Kitty Hetherington involved in there too. This is the first big attack here from. Oh, oh there's a good knee drive from the young Naomi Cord. She's she's uh, she was Cook's top try scorer for the first half of the season. She she's proven to make herself difficult to tackle. And Cook are making great inroads on here into the into the lone 22. Gather a little bit of momentum. Let's see if they're they able to. A bit more, and they've got numbers out wide here. Oh, that looked a little but bit high. But Naomi McCord decides to go on her own, and she does, and just if it does, and Naomi McCord storms over for the first score of the game. Excellent score give there. Cook the, 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 the early advantage. It's 5 0. Just over 15 minutes. And that's just the difference between the sides. Uh, Malone had all applied all the early pressure, boss possession, 
but they lack that cutting edge. You see the big carries here from the cook, from the cook pack, mm -hmm. punching holes in the in the Malone defence there, and in the end it was a easy enough try. They were they were queuing up for it. Yeah, Gemma. absolutely. I think both teams are, are skilled enough that they're able to generate the momentum. But I think today's match will definitely be decided by who's able to make use of that and you know deliver that that final blow and, and make the try. So here we go. It's a conversion coming up for Cook. Yeah, that looks like Amanda Morton. I misjudges that one. So we're just we waiting for the restart now. We're just going to see who. That's Young. A good kick off from Young Holly Brannigan. Holly Brannigan, Straight the Straight into the eyes, the hands of Tame. Tame McGuire. Tame McGuire, the scrum oh, half and uh, that Ashley, and it seems she was chopped early by Laura McGuinness. The referee's happy oh. enough for play to continue. Ball seems to have got a little yeah, bit loose and, yeah, and picked up by Megan Ma Simpson Megan there. Megan Simpson just tidying things efforts. up there. Three or four Malone girls trying to and failing to take her down there. And, and Malone happy to counter up oh. and it's worked on that occasion. Mikels are showing all the... Oh, and there's Ashley Orchard taking yeah. a quick quick penalty Not for too Cook. too sure that was... The tackler was back 10 metres there but play continues. There's in the hands of That's Kelly. Kelly McCormell. Into Dol Dolores' hands. Oh, lovely. And into Young Tom's voice. And Tasman Boyce is away it and looks nobody's like she's catching home. Tasman Boyce. Excellent. Oh! oh! That was a big the hit from Holly Brannigan right there. on the line. And yes, oh. a knock on. I didn't quite see who the Malone player was. I think that was Holly Brannigan there. Holly Brannigan, the full It was a brilliant chase nowhere. down from both girls. I think Tams maybe saw her name in, in lights there just a little bit yeah, too soon. Just, just when I s just believe that I said myself that nobody was going to catch her. Brannigan came across with a marvellous tackle, just knocking the ball out of her hands. Excellent effort from both girls there. But uh, that Malone, like that play there down the left between Hughes and Boyce and also Kelly McCormell's uh, that was that in there was a delight to watch. Lovely some of the best shape I've seen from Cook all season. Unfortunately, that fine bit of skill there wasn't rewarded with a try. But let's see what what Cook are able to generate now. You see, if they can be, the way the, the the Cook scrum has started, you wouldn't be surprised to see one taken against the head. I know no better place to do it than the opposition's five metre line. We've played just over 20 minutes here at Shaw's Bridge. Cook leading Malone, five points to nil. As Energia All Ireland League, ninth place, tenth place. Sure, playoff. Wilson feeds in, and it seems like the ball has come straight back out. So it looks like yeah. we'll get set again. Yes. Yeah, the, sc the scrums have been quite scrappy and messy so far this evening. Yeah. I think the uh, Malone's loss of Neve Jones early in the season has definitely mm -hmm. has been a hit to the team. She was a very experienced young player after getting her debut to, to Ireland uh, last year. Uh, yes, when you lose a player such experience and craft, it's hard to That looks replace. like it was taken by Laura McGuinness. Yeah, McGuinness just straight up. No time to, no time for messing about down in there. Oh, there's a good clearance kick from Holly Brannigan. Yeah. Straight into touch. Brannigan doing well with the the pressure still on. Cook will have a line out in the middle of the Malone 22. Let's see if they're able to bring back some of that uh, really fast pace uh, running off each other. Yeah, we'll see just if able just to having a wee look now here at the Malone back line. Just see how they, how they shape up. Tasman Boyce has come in way off her wing, so we'll we'll look for her. She's standing beside their back row of India Daly. Uh, is it a sh shortened line out? Yeah. So we're possibly expecting something to happen here in midfield. Mm -hmm. so there's a line out. Well, oh, and the referee says that wasn't straight. So that Cook's first. Line out in the in the Malone in the Malone end of the park goes against them, and that'll be frustrating there for Cook. Yeah, definitely. It looks like Malone have opted for a scrum. Yeah, if maybe would have thought the way things have worked, they would be happy with the with the line out. But they're happy enough, so you would expect uh, Laura McGinnis just to. Pick and go as, as quick as she can. Lauren's been very good at gathering the ball in the back of those scrums today, despite the pressure definitely being yeah. on for Malone. 
She's an experienced uh, uh, eight for them. But no doubt, Katie Heverton will be waiting on her. Oh, yeah, and taking that against the head. Oh, Kiel it looks picks like up two tries last week. She'll be looking for more today. Absolutely, she's a big runner. There's Ashley O'Connell. Another big run. Yeah, the cook captain sets the ball back, so it's be all patient. And it's like the whole of the Malone team have been sucked in there. Yeah, Look let's it. let's see if Cooker. Yeah, if quick Cook enough to realise where the space is if here. Cook get the ball out to their back, so it, they're, they're queuing up for a try. Oh, One. nice delayed pass there from um, Orchard. Another carry from, from Helen McGee there. And Helen McGee was just held up on the line there. It's maybe giving Malone just enough yes, time to start spreading. Cooker wanting to move the ball in hands, but it's desperate defending here from Malone. They're camped right on their line. But can Cook come away with their second try of the game? And they want the ball, There's they want to move it wide. And they, uh, into and the hands trying. of Megan Simpson, into Sim Helen McGee's hands. Oh, and it's, oh, it's intercepted at the depth. And Cook, have they butchered another try opportunity? Yes, they have, and it's oh, a knock on. That's unfortunate. And you see, it was like Malone came in here, big underdogs, uh, beaten last week, depleted team. But you can't knock their spirit. Absolutely not. They're really showing what they're made of in their own 22. And they're certainly giving it their all in this uh, opening half here at Shaw's Bridge. Still only Cook 5, Malone 0. And this energy uh, all out of the league, ninth, 10th place playoff. So it's the, as you say, it's the upteenth scrum of the season so far, Gemma. We've I lost count after. <laughs> <laughs> I, I do know Cook uh, love a scrum, but I think even David Elson and Staden will be uh, <laughs> complaining at the amount of scrums we've seen here today. And more pressure, big pressure big from the pressure. cook pack there. Malone somehow come away there from Laura McGuinness again. That's very good, uh, good hands from McGuinness under all that pressure. And Brannigan, back to Brannigan's trusty right peg. Just clears the pressure. Back into another line out in the 22. Another line out just a wee bit further than the last time, but just <laughs> just, just inside their, their old 22. A little bit of Groundhog Day here. Let's see who comes away from this one. Yes, and we're here in Shaw's Bridge this evening in South Belfast. You can see there the lovely setting just here on, on the fringes here of Beaver Park Forest. And of course, it's this area of South Belfast. We've got Queen's University grounds down to our left, and just behind those trees, we've got the, the Belfast Harlequins Club. And then down here, we've got Shaw's Bridge, home of Estonians and Cook. So there we go. A line out from Malone. Yeah, line out for Cook. Oh, and it seems like uh, Naomi McCord's hands have mm -hmm. done her justice. Very big carry from her. Yes, and there's Malone defence getting just reward for all her efforts. I think she was just a little bit isolated there. No one seemed to, mm -hmm. to react just as, as quick as, as she did to that ball. So Malone, as you noticed there, and uh, no rush to take a quick tap penalty in there. There's a fine touch, yes they have. Oh. Dolores standing at the ready right. to try and gather that ball, but didn't seem to be going in her favour today. Yeah. And Holly Brannigan with a fine clearance here, as her coach just said down here to her left, great shoe from Holly Brannigan. And that just relieves the pressure and now it's maybe their time now to ask a few questions themselves of the cook defence. Fantastic to see a couple of spectators down for, for both sides. I suppose with it being an Ulster, an Ulster Derby, that's both teams get the benefit from the, the advantage of having a close home game. <laughs> there we go. That was a bit of a scrappy, yes. scrappy line out we, from. We play on, I'm not too sure if it was straight down the middle. Referee seems to be happy to let the play but, go. But Cook have turned that ball over. Good hands from Amanda oh. Morton. And spills and spills back on the Malone side. That's and Jill Stevens, good Jill. pick from her. With Fern Wilson binding yep. on and helping out. Our Sherelle into the hands of Peter McAllister. Into Laura oh, McGuinness. And it seemed like Orchard had her lined up for that one. A superb hit from the out <laughs> half there. Showing qualities of a she needed to play in the back row of tackling like that. I think Lauren's maybe gathering herself on the ground for a little bit there. That was a big carry there from yeah, that could, Megan Simpson could turn potentially. That over again. It's, it's Ashley O'Connell this time. Very dynamic front row. She's certainly don't want to be lined up against her when she's got the ball and some speed. No, 
Yeah, so we've got a we've got a player down injured. I think it is Ashley O'Connell after that yep. last hit. So we're going to halt play now for a few minutes. Yes, it looks like Fiona McCaughan is now stepping up mm-hmm. to replace Ashley on the pitch here. Yeah, Fiona's the uh, Fiona McGahan is a replacement prop. She's just getting warmed up. Uh, what she is. Be a like for like replacement going to the tight head, Gemma. Um, she doesn't have the same. Switch? She doesn't have the same. Oh, oh I, I, she may go into loose head here, and we might have Ilsa step into tight head. Um, she doesn't have the same Ulster experience that Ashley has, mm-hmm. but she's she's done very well to step up this season. Uh, looks like Cook and Malone are now both lining up for the new scrum, so it'll be interesting to see how how the teams adjust to the. Yeah, it looks like Ilse van Staden has stepped into tight head here. Yeah, so be a, bit of, a bit of rejigging in the Cook front row there. Uh, see Ashley coming off there, she's looking quite sore. Yeah, she's in a, quite a bit of discomfort there. Let's see how the, the adjusted front row now holds up to the the, the scrum. So he plays back on. Oh, no. Referee not too happy with that. No, that's another reset. Potentially just letting them saddle in here. Of course, the scrum has always been a major talking point that the time it eats up. You've seen a few referees just basically just say, right, that's get going and warn teams you know if they take too long or start oh. messing but looked that, like Malone put in a big shift there that was a oh referee's taking it back yeah taking it back it's going to be a good penalty it's very good it looks like Fiona's stepping up so the re the rejigging didn't affect the the cook scrum at all so Dolores Hughes is coming across here to kick this penalty Kick the conversion and then that's one last week at Gibson Park. And now she's kicking for touch. Oh, and that's a good bit. Drops it in there right on the 22. <laughs> There's just a wee gap between the the forwards and uh, the balloon back there. Everything was on a stand, Stanfield. And she just picked her spot. Dolores, no stranger to kicking. I think her experience there is showing. So we cook, the cook forwards, they're just, they were gathered on there. Getting the instructions, so here we come. Walking up to the mark. It looks like uh, Katie Hetherington there is, is poised to potentially take the ball off Ashley Baxter here. Mm-hmm. Let's see if the if the girls are able to get the excellent yeah, good McCord. throw and good hands from Naomi. McC- uh, good, good throw from Megan yeah, Simpson and there's there. Katie Hetherington there. Yep. And yet again, excellent we, run. We see Tasman Boyce coming off the left wing. End up Ashley Orchard's hands. End up Amanda Morton's. End up Kelly. Oh. One more. And that's oh, and Claire Johnson just can't get her hands on the ball there. It's good, good go forward there, but it doesn't seem to like Cook were there to to execute that. It's just that final bit of execution there from Cook, just lacking there. So, but they're still in the in the Malone 22. Let's see. It's going to be a scrum. Malone scrum. Let's see if the Packer are here to put their name down for. For this try, it seems like Malone are, are set very narrow in defence here. And yeah, I don't think Malone will be up too much. If they get this ball back out, they're not going to be uh, looking to run the ball from their own line. Big they? scrum from oh, Cook huge there. there from Cook. But and it seems like the ball's been. Yeah, Malone, they still, have, they still have possession. I think they'll probably work this back to Holly Brannigan to clear her lines. Yeah, oh, oh, and done the very well there under oh, a lot of, of pressure, but Tia. Tia fine touch. Let's Tia see if Maguire. she's stepping into the contact there. Just, <laughs> just stopped short of the five meter line. The cook pack getting sorted. Oh, and a, a carry Great hit from there India. From Sarah Murphy and Stradden. Who's There's McGee uh, yeah. and Cara lined There's up there Maguire. to take the ball into the hands of McGee. Who takes it out to Naomi McCord? Good hands from Naomi McCord there. Oh, and and it looks no like she's running it at home for Naomi McCord for her second try there. Second try. Very similar to the first try she scored. And at last Cook make their make all their dominance show on the scoreboard, taking a 10 0 lead. She's with less than 10 minutes to go to half time. Fantastic young runner here who previously played for Malone, so I'm sure she's out to to put her hand up and and 
you know, show her her, her talent. Oh, absolutely. She, with, with the way she's played tonight there, she'll also put her hand up there and making her for a ulcer selection. A lot of, lot of carrying from her tonight and all those carries being rewarded with uh, two tries. There's Amanda Morton lining up for a second kick. Yeah, no mistake this time. You'd like to hope. <laughs> yeah, so, well, right in front of the posts. Well, that's, that's now it takes a, <laughs> pushes her lead out to 12 points. It's Cook 12, Malone no. Let's see uh, if Malone are able to start getting that momentum back to see if they can get some points yeah. on the board here. Less than 10 minutes to half time. It's very important to get something on the scoreboard or else this game is just going to slip away from them like it happened last week. Absolutely. They've put up such a big fight in the first 20, 30 minutes there. You'd, th you'd think that fire would have brought them some points by now. Let's see if they're able to, to bring that back for themselves. So let's see what the, the closing stages of the first half will bring us. The wind's starting to pick up here as Holly Brannigan's stepping in. Holly Brown can come for a restart. She's kicked to her left. Education so far, and she does the same again. That's a good, strong yeah. run from the defensive line. Picked McCord. up by McCord. He's fighting there. And Peter McAllister straight in on that jackal. And, and she's come away with it. Oh. And we have oh. and discipline there from Cook has cost him 10 metres. So a bit, another chance for Maloney. Peter's McAllister's experience there mm -hmm. showing off. She's no stranger to a jackal in the ruck. Straight into Sarah Murphy's hands. Sarah Murphy Good. doing very, very well there. Good drive. But Malone, they're just finding it. Of all the Can carry that, they just had, can't get anybody breaking the game There's line. Laura and McGuinness. Was said, Laura McGuinness who breaks into the Malone 22. Or came the up against Kay McGuire sorry. there, who was ready for the chop. Gap there on the side of that rock. Is that Cara O'Neill a little bit isolated? Let's see if she's able to keep this. Yeah, Sarah Murphy came in and rocked out there. And there's Fern again on Fern her own. Yeah, very isolated. All the Malone ball carriers seem to be isolated. There's Back Laura McGuinness, McGuinness again. Let's see if she's oh, able to break right, that line left. again. And then oh. she decides to go straight. Not held. Back on her feet. Eventually she's brought down, but ref referee not happy. Take Back yep. for a Malone penalty. A Malone penalty are talking, but, but just shy of 10 metres. It seems like Malone have brought that fire back. They're not ready to go. And just just on half time, see. Or this half without a point. Yeah, as they say, they call the, the championship minutes. Well, a wee dummy run there from Sarah Murphy. And as McAllister looks to, to find a way. And there's Sherelle Wilson. A little dummy there, and she. Yes, an awful lawful there to Carol O'Neill, but. Just waiting on referee trainer. Yes, it's an hour penalty. Malone, they favoured the tap and go. They don't uh, kick to the corner. Well, they certainly don't waste any time there. No, they're well, they definitely like to make mm -hmm. use of that. Uh, yeah, and there's somebody here that's been spoken to. He's a referee reaching for his pocket. It's Kelly McCormell getting a warning. Well, she was El Elsa Van Staden is now the, the cook captain. She seems to have come away Getting with no just ground. a warning just, now. Yeah, just not releasing the tackler there on the ground. So, there's Peter, uh, Wilson gets us going again. Into Jill Stevens' hands. She sees a gap, and passes it. That's Jana McQuillan, McQuillan and Anna Stanfield, who lined up against Ashley Orchard and Looked didn't like come away as the the winner of that, that collision. I don't know, I maybe Anna got that ball away just before she's put into touch, but the touch judge was right up at play there. So we'll have a quick line out. Here in the dying stages of the first half, it's still 12 below nil. There's Megan Simpson and Ilse van Stetten having a little chat, deciding what they're going to do Let's here. See, will, will Malone contest or will they try and sack this line out as soon as it hits the ground? There's up McGee they go, up. contesting at the front, but oh. both sides miss. Turned out to be a bit scrappy there, and a knock on from Cook. That was good pressure from Malone mm. in the line out there. Yeah, despite the best efforts from Fiona McGahan there, trying to tidy up from that messy line-out. And Malone have opted for the scrum. Yeah, it's all those tap-and-go penalties. It's like, it wasn't much of a vote of confidence for the their forward, you know, they <laughs> didn't want to kick the touch, just they want to run this. Uh, I, I wonder, is that potentially the, 
missing Ella Durkin, who is as as much as Holly Browning has been doing well, is also an experienced boot for for Malone. There's been a Bacaster into Justine's hands. Better ball for the Malone backs. Let's Looks see like what Jill they can do this time. Kelly McCormell have come up. There's Peter getting set again. Going, going right again, McAllister. That's John McQuillan. McQuillan. And Malone and doing well to move it to the it. edge. Yep. And that's another penalty. Surely there'll be a card coming here shortly if this uh, undiscipline from Cook keeps up. Another quick tap and go. There's oh, Cara That's a powerful run there. Good run. O'Neill doing very, very well there. That's Malone, as close as Malone have got so far tonight. Well, I need to work hard to get around that corner. Slow ball. Let's see if that works in their favour. Hannah Beatty, who came up against Naomi McCord. Oh, that's a lovely link oh. up play there. And McGuinness was almost through that time. A beautiful pass there from Wilson put her in. But she's really just working short. Hard here. And oh, the ball seems to have come through. Rock in there free into the hands of Hannah Beatty. Cook, yeah, Cook have knocked Malone back a few yards. But they're, Malone, they're keeping the pressure on. A wee show and go there from Wilson. She tries to go herself again. She's Brannigan oh. screaming for the ball. And they're getting closer and closer and closer. If they can get this back. McAllister and, space and, on the and left wing there. and Stevens all queuing up here, as well as Stanfield on the left. But the, the ball's been slow. If they can move this ball through the hands. There's going to be a try in here, and, and Stevens in, oh, Stanfield in, she and she caught early. Caught. She and held up. No referee says it's a try. Good work from Anna Stanfield there to make that try. And for all their just rewards, have actually been rewarded now. As Malone, they made a bit of hard work of that, but they got there in the end. <laughs> we, th we thought Stanfield was going to get. Uh, Stopping her tracks just right on the line, but she managed to get the ball down. And referee Gary Tuner says, Yes, she got the ball down legally, so that's a try. So just approaching half time here, and it's Cook 12, Malone 5. Good to see that Malone are still happy to, to fight despite the two tries from Cook earlier on this evening. Yeah, just when the game looked like stepping away from them, they've responded very, very well. Showing plenty of heart and plenty of fight here. This will be a tough kick for young Holly Brannigan. Very, very tough, uh, and she'll be kicking into the wind. Let's see how she shapes up. She's just about two metres in from the left touch line. 21 metres from the line. So, just taking her time, steadying herself. Here she comes, right footed. Uh, drops sh short and goes across the face of the goal. So, I mean, this energy, uh, all Ireland League playoff. Cook lead Malone 12 points to five. Yeah, and we're all set here to go. The second half. A quick turnaround here at Shaw's Bridge. Uh, just having a quick look around. Don't see any replacements at the minute. Cook had the advantage of the win in the first half. They lead Malone 12 points to 5 in this Energy All Ireland League playoff. That was a very good kick from Amanda Morton there. Yeah, putting the, putting the Malone team under pressure straight from the off. Previously out half for Cook, it's Amanda stepped into to number 12 for them today. It seems she's still happy to take the kicks. There's an, another line out. This will be Malone's line out. Let's see what they're able to do. Yeah, the one that we still have a bit of a quite a breeze here. Thankfully, the rain has stayed off and. Looking, looking around, it doesn't seem too bad. We we might get away with it. There's the commentator's curse. So there we go, Malone, right to the middle. Great line out, great hands there from Hannah Beatty. Quick ball off the top, and there she is. That's Wilson, I think, this time. Yep. Wilson and McGuinness, full of running, full of carrying the, going the hard yards in the first half. Peter, not too sure if she had to go uh, in to help in that, out in that rock there. I think she was dying to get stuck in there. <laughs> she's, a, a, she's a fan of rocks, Peter. Yeah, she's an out half, but I think she's... Uh, <laughs> A frustrated back row player, the way she plays there. There's and Brannigan good. kicking under pressure. Oh, and the ball. Oh, oh stayed in. Oh, oh unfortunately taken out by yeah. Dolores. That was a bit Just unlucky there. Yeah, the cook defence, uh, they put Malone, the Malone backs under great pressure there. But uh, the bounce of the ball worked in Malone's favour there. And they've got a, a ball guard quite close to the action there. There she's whisked away. Actually, oh, Curry getting ready for this. Hopefully line. her parent. So here we go. I'm alone line out. Ashley Curry. 
but uh, there we go, straight to the middle again. It's time as Lauren, uh, Lauren McGuinness. That uh, that Ulster experience in McGuinness and McGuinness and Beatty certainly helping in those lineouts. Yeah, their, their movement there was uh, first class there too, up to speed and good uh, quick ball with quite far back from the Malone team yeah, so there. Just finding it hard to break uh, that. Jill game Stevens line. fighting hard to take back that space. This is where it all seems to go wrong for Malone. Just that cohesion is just just not there out, out, out wide. Whereas Cook just seemed to have oh. that little bit of extra, but there we go, it's an hour. The first half, the start of the second half sort of mirrors the end of the first half of Our Cook's discipline under question. Shra Wilson taking yeah. another quick tap. Well, She's yeah, and more and than happy to do that. And allowed to carry more than <laughs> 10 metres. <laughs> she, she stepped out of the back row into scrum half from alone this year and uh, I, th I think she can't quite forget those, those a, back row a, roots. Yeah, and there's a ter another terrific break there from Wilson. Now back to McGuinness. And it looks like there we go. So well, all that Malone, early Malone possession potentially comes to an end. A knock on by the looks of it. Yeah, so there'll be another scrum for Cook. Or Cook looking to prepare a couple of subs. Yes, they are. So we'll see, see a few Hannah changes Donnie in a minute. There, uh, getting warmed up by the looks of it. Yeah, and Hannah's she, ready to go. She's a. Historically been a scrum half for, for Cook, but we'll, we'll see where, where they're looking to get her on today. Very skilled player. And there's it's all scrum there. And was that a knock on there at the base of that scrum there by Maguire? doesn't look like he's seen no it if it was. He was in a good position, so we'll play on. But Malone, have, they've certainly turned up this week. Oh, big carry there good from... Good but Cara. Yeah, Cara O'Kane. Her first AIL start. They're making her presence felt there. Great pressure there at the big breakdown for Malone. Hannah Biddy showing all her experience there at the provincial level, bringing it into the club game and putting the, the cook attack under great pressure, winning the turnover. Looks like Malone are looking to take a kick here. Yeah, that's a good kick here from Hannah, from Holly Brannigan, sorry. Brannigan kicked very well there. And another Ulster player who's, who's showing off her experience there for the team. Coming back after a couple of years off from injury. Pre-COVID. So we are just a few minutes into the second half. and Let's see what Malone can do here. We talk about the championship minutes at the end of the first half. Last five, ten minutes of the like first half. Early five, ten minutes of the second half. Malone have got themselves back into the game. They've had to work very hard to do so. Oh, and is that straight? I don't think that is straight. There's certainly a fan of mm -hmm. a quick line out there, uh, Malone. So there we go, the, the line out not straight, so there's a, a chance going to beg in there for Malone. Let's see if Cooker are wanting to, mm -hmm. to make a difference now that they have the opportunity. Yeah, yeah. Keelan McCormick and Hannah Downey just on the sideline here, ready to go. But the play will continue. Cook scrum, good. Just, just, just on the outside the road. Twenty-two. Well, it looks like there. Helen McGee has picked it up there. Yeah, pick and go there from Helen McGee. Well, it looks like. And Cook electing to go down the blind side. Oh, and Malone somehow turned that over. <laughs> so it's Malone asking all the questions today. Here's Murphy oh. again. Oh. Bit of an unusual oh, tackle there yeah. from Ilse van Staden. Van Staden. Oh! oh. <laughs> Amanda Referee. Morton was up very, very quick. Put the Malone backs under very, under a much lot a lot of pressure. But uh, play is going to come back for a a Malone penalty. And Kelly McCormell has been spoke to again, as well as Elsa. And surely if I was a Malone captain, you'd be up in the referee's ear saying that's an or warning. Countless penalties, you know. Absolutely. You'd, you'd certainly be asking questions, you know. Just put putting those wee seeds into the referee's head there, but a, a bit of yellow card. And Cook's discipline, maybe letting oh, them down a little discipline bit. Discipline has really, really cost them today. So this 
no, I don't think they're going to go for a scrum here, are they? They're going to spectacular. Doesn't look goal. like it. Yeah. No. <laughs> I think Malone have decided. That's a big carry from McGuinness there. Well, Cook definitely stepped up to the plate. McAllister, what's the Murphy? Murphy. Oh, lovely hands from the, from the prop there. Jill Stevens. Stevens as well, showing great determination. This Here's McGee the, having a go. The Cook 22. Good hands That's there from Fern Wilson. Powerful young runner. Wilson, a, a late starter, came in there for the injured Jennifer Collins today. Jennifer just rolled out of action at the last oh. minute. Um, not too sure what McAllister was up to there. But that's another cook penalty, and again, no cards. And the and Malone defense, the Malone coaches are asking about the cards too. But Holly Brannigan, there's no time to ask questions. Look, she wants to get over that end line, she wants to get a try, she wants to get her, her side back in this game. McAllister, and again, oh, oh that's a big, big tackle big, there from Amanda hit. Morton. Morton with a great hit there, and there's young yep. Naomi McCord looking to make her a big hit. McCord just scored two tries at the end of the first half. Now she's but oh, lovely wee oh. show going. She's going to get there. Oh, Sarah Murphy seemed to saw the space there. A great Not acceleration able. there from Murphy. Oh, big clear out there from Tia. Uh, the, 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 the tie's starting to heat up now. It's got all the ingredients that you'd expect from a derby. And surely now we're, I think we're going to have a we're having an hour warning. Still, still no cards for the cook for the cook team. That word structure that the Malone coaches are shouting, that's probably been their downfall, particularly in the first half, early stages. Yes, definitely. Just that wee bit of structure in the backs. Yeah, I think they've, they've yeah. as much as they have a few experienced Ulster players, they do have a few uh, a few new players in their back line, and that, that sort of inexperience there is maybe sh showing its, its itself. So the Cook get off with their third one of the game, still yep. yet they receive a, a card from referee Trainer. There's a big press up in defence there from Cook. Back down, McAllister. Driving Malone back. Oh, just, not, not sure able. Who, who that was there for Malone, but they made great yards. And if Malone can work this left, they could be way in on the far side. Oh, it's McGuinness again. McGuinness is featured strongly for Malone today. There's Ashley Curry. Very dynamic hooker there for Malone. Absolutely, yes. And there's another penalty. And at, I think at last, we're going to see a yellow card. <laughs> yep, it looks like a yellow card. And it's safe to say that's been coming. I think Maybe so. Maybe long overdue. <laughs> <laughs> a little bit. I definitely think Cook you're, you're have, should have been working harder. Here, Jimmy, you're finding it very hard <laughs> to agree with me there. <laughs> yeah, I, I, can't, I can't help where my loyalties lie, but it looked like Cook really struggled to get their discipline in check. That was Fiona McCaughan. Fiona McCaughan yet to come on midway through the first <laughs> half, so a power play now for 10 minutes. Let's see if Malone are able to make use of this card. They say a, a yellow card should be worth about seven points, so let's see if Malone are able to realise that. Make use of it. Malone not looking to move the ball wide, it's just picking and going around the fringes there. McAllister, BD. Malone, they just looking to get ever closer on the way show go there from Wilson. The cook defence were on it, it this looks time. Looks like Katie wasn't buying that one. Oh, Great hands there Murphy. from Murphy. <laughs> Seven in there, scrum half. But there's again, there's that oh, structure, and, and that structure has oh, cost them. And ball's just cook going a bit loose. Over. It's a Malone knock on. But is there? Uh, it looks like a penalty for Cook. Yeah, there's a few Cook bodies. Down us, it's just a member of East Team. <laughs> I think so. Yeah, Cook's Katie Everington is down there. With that ball going loose, I think there was just a couple of collisions. <laughs> yeah. It looks like Amer's, yep, yeah, Amer McQuillan is running on there for her debut and hook for Cook. Yeah, she might have to actually prop. Would she? Uh, I think we, we might get or, or Megan Simpson to step into loose here. Uh, young Megan Simpson, who's historically always hooked for uh, Cook, I think is is looking to uh, add to her uh, her knowledge base and and you know it's potentially break into prop. If you can't learn uh, anything in the front row, you'll you'll learn nothing about rugby. Absolutely. And she's Tasman Boyce has to be sacrificed there to let the front row replacement come on. Let's see. Good steady scrum from 
Both Megan sides. Simpson oh, did fire. well. Powerful Big run and go from there from Hill McGee. Oh, and Cara Neal straight in. Tabe fought hard to clear young Cara out there. Oh, uh, there's Norgret Katie Carrier Hetherington. Everington. And somebody's gone flying on the Malone fighting her. really hard around those rocks. Yeah. There's young Naomi. Katie um, McCallion making her presence felt there. Introducing herself to the new there's good player. Emer warming yep. up there with another carry. Straight into Elsa's Elsa hands. Elsa Van Staden. Oh, yeah. oh, oh skips the, the lost forward the there by Elsa and pushed okay. out. Just got a little bit scrappy there, I think, Paul. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we spoke bef before the game off camera about uh, how you prepare for a derby and uh, people can get too hyped up and sort of yeah, take their absolutely. eye off the, off the ball. So I think that was a case there. Uh, Van Staden certainly made the her presence felt there, breaking the tackle, but then just the moments loss of concentration and she sp spilled the ball, so. Absolutely, yeah. So we'll, we'll continue here with the play and the and the cook half. It seems like mm -hmm. Helen McGee has stepped into second row for, for the scrum here. Obviously with, uh, with Cook being down for, uh, with a yellow card. So this will be this is where the cook experience up front will tell now. The, a few we'll have a few wee resets here, sure, and you don't leave it a time for that yellow card. Absolutely. <laughs> <laughs> Not that I'm promoting the dark arts <laughs> of rugby, but that's just. Do you front row yourself, Paul? Well, I, I, I went in there once for five minutes, and let's just say. Uh, Learned plenty, apparently. Ah, uh, that was that was enough. I learned a lot. There's a in big drive from, uh, from ah, cook, powerful scrum despite from cook. being mixed powerful man. scrum. And Norm McGuinness comes away with it again. Her hand Very has busy, rock. Superb. There's Beatty trying a little show and go. Alone, and a clash to of the, the second rows. And if they can get this oh. way on, just not the best pass there from Peter McAllister. Oh, McAllister just couldn't find the bread basket. And it's gone loose again. And that's a wee knock on there, a spillage. Chest on. So. Cook have done well responding pressure to that. Yeah, Cook would be more than happy how they've handled this uh, period of play, with being a player down. Still holding on to their seven point lead, 12 5. Well, we'll be looking to, to make some good positive ground here. It seems they've lost, lost some ground while they've had this possession. So. Yeah, they've come from the, the cook five meter line now, they're just, out, just, just shy of the, the 10 meter line. So they're, they're just over three minutes of the yellow car still to go. So. So Hannah Downey has gone on the scrum half. And Sherelle and, Wilson's oh, Wilson straight in there. Right up there, annoying her in her face straight off. But uh, Hannah's responded with a good forward carry. Re recovered very, very well to Downey. There's Helen McGee, tried a little dummy there, just wasn't bought by the, by the Maloon players. Could play now with a penalty advantage. And uh, Ashley Orchard Keeping Tams. the ball in hand here. There's Dolores, can she give one more? I see Tams and Boyce out in the wing. Will she give it? No. See, that's Emer McQuillan. Downey the McQuillan. And India Daly. Fighting hard there on the ground. India Daly for fire forward there. Big crash up from Jill Stevens there. Oh, lovely ball. Oh, oh that a, a very knock much a deliberate on there. knock on there, but we'll play on. The referee didn't seem to notice that one. No. There's Good. Megan Simpson. Yeah, great. great Good carry, there. which is isolated. Took that ball, forced there to Mega Simpson. Downey. A lot of pressure Orch here in the Orchard. Maloon defensive line. Yeah. Naomi McCord getting involved there. Or Hannah Darnie organising her backs. Yeah, showing her experience in scrum half there. Yeah, Cook need to be protecting that ball in the ruck. I think they're letting their carriers get in a little bit too yeah. isolated and, and Maloon are in there all day. Yeah, maybe a wee bit harshly, but, uh, but the referee Chinnery just wants the ball back quick, doesn't want the ball being slower disrupted there. so. Malone done very, very well. Rebecca Greenaway maybe took a knock along with Megan Simpson. will make this period of play count. Holly Brannigan. Yeah. Another strong kick from Holly. Very good kick. So we'll continue. A Malone line out. Let's see what they can what tricks they've got up their sleeve here. Megan Simpson, who would she be? 
empty pick out. Let's see if we're we'll up for another quick line out here. Oh, and it's a pretty sh it's a short one, so I'd expect Hannah Biddy maybe to get her hands on us. But no, up to the front. Oh, that was a nice oh, short line out there. Hannah Downey maybe shooting up from overran the front that a little bit. Yeah. <laughs> Malone have done very well. They good strong carry it. from Peter. It was enough to just put them off there. And there's the cook. The cook defence here. One of them sells a penalty and there's, there's McGee. no time to rest. There's Big run from the McGee. Defensive here. McGee. There's India straight into Ruck. Down here, oh, thought we were going to see how he kick over the top here, but she realised she's playing on the a, a Gale Force one that just, just picked up. Well, our Archer. kick set a little bit far back there. Maybe could have done. Coming from deep there, but there's Claire Johnson getting it's a touch and a great good, burst strong there on the far run. side there for. Dolores, I believe. Dolores Hughes coming up from full back. There's Megan Simpson carrying strong. Down here again. And there's Elsa Van Staten. Van Staten. Oh, Getting plenty of speed great there. Great acceleration before being stopped. Oh, a little off Oh, and oh. Ball just not being claimed there. Is there a chance oh. here for Malone to regroup? There's Katie Hellington yeah. oh. sailing off that rock. Maybe a little bit off their feet there from Katie yeah, Allen. I don't think the referee quite, saw. But questionable there. But we'll play on. There's Naomi McCord. Another strong carry. Yeah, and could have numbers out right if they move this quick. Downey does so, but. Oh, India Daly. India Daly just coming back inside. And there's Van Staden again. Mm. You'll not be expecting this pass. Oh. Well, pass. Well, she does give a pass. It's a <laughs> lovely pass, too. You don't often see a prop who, who likes to pass. No, it, well, it's In this case, it's worked well. Ball carrier and oh. Megan Simpson just taking her eye off the ball there. <laughs> Met of great cheers there from the Malone staff down to her left. Uh, for another scrum. Yeah. Seems to be a firm favourite of the day. <laughs> <laughs> and there'll be probably the final play, I'd imagine, with uh, Cook a player down. There's a penalty for Cook. Uh, again, that, that slightly more experienced scrum just seems to be benefiting the mm -hmm. home team that little bit. Yeah, the referee wasn't happy with how the high the balloon front row were engaging there. There's Naomi stepping in, big oh, carry. That's a powerful carry big. there. Malone really struggling to cut her down here. Yeah. And there's, there's Katie. Another big carry. Katie Heverington there. Cook just happy just to play around the fringes there, trying to suck that Malone defence in. There's Ashley Orchard starting yeah. to try and give yeah. themselves a bit of shape. That's Downey. There's another carry from another Megan car Simpson. Simpson, who was down injured a few months ago, but glad to see her back on her feet. There's Ilsa lining up. Yeah, just good tackling there from Rebecca Smith. Just stopping Elsa just at her knees. And another carry from but it's Helen Cook. McGee. Yeah, the, the pressure keeps coming from Cook. They recycle the ball back to Van Staden. Plenty of options left and right for Downey. She decides to go right. Orchard, oh, but a bit Amanda more space Morton. here. There's Claire and Dolores and Hughes. Yeah. She going to make use of this? Absolutely. Dolores Hughes comes racing in Fantastic there. Fantastic run. Lovely, lovely rugby there from Cook. That's the kind of execution we'll be looking to see more of. Yeah, all of Orchard and Morton involved there before Claire Johnson played in Dolores Shoes for her side's third try of the game, taking the score out the Cook 17, Malone 5. It was actually get on there for quite a <laughs> quite a time there. Um yes, yes, yeah, she she, she started last week, so I think she'll be looking yet. to put in a big shift mm -hmm. today. Yes. Yeah, Holly Brannigan. Oh sorry. Dolores Shoes, is it? Uh, yes, Dolores Hughes. Converting her own try there. So there we go, it's uh, now uh, Cook 19, Malone 5. So here we go, Holly Brannigan getting this up and running again, going down straight, straight down the middle. Straight into the hands of Kelly, Kelly McCormell. There, uh, Amanda Morton. Big strong powerful, run. Powerful run there from the centre. There's Hannah Downey. Yeah, Downey. Into She's the hands of Kaylin. Murphy up very, very quick there, possibly offside, and I think that could be the, the yep. penalty advantage that the referee's playing. 
Yep. And Hannah. Oh, not, not from the mark. <laughs> but, uh, she didn't look like she was ready to wait around there. Also, just see the difference there. When Hannah Downey has her hands on the ball, the base of a rook, she does have options both sides. Yes, absolutely. The numbers aren't stacked on one side. Which is great for the scrum half, getting more options. Is Dolores looking to take the kick? Yeah, and she just... Nice clean kick. Nice clean kick, so... Uh, Cook will be having a, a line out just, just almost on the, the 10 metre line here. Be interesting to see how Malone fare up now that they've uh, been running through their bench. Let's hope the, the legs stay fresh. Mm -hmm. uh, Ailsa is lining up to take yes, this through. Yes, Ailsa Van coming out to hook. See what's the line out thrown here. Oh, oh Kaelin. No, if that was the <laughs> intended target, uh, Kaelin McCormick. But uh, it's a big run from Katie Hetherington. She and, but she had the had the sense just to move the ball quick. Well, and there's Naomi McCord going through again. She's looking for that hat trick. It's been a big performance, both in attack and in defence tonight. There's Downey. Picking out her right half, Orchard, but she's immediately under pressure. Just a swarm of white jerseys. Oh, was she held? Referee says no. Oh! And there she goes again. Yeah. Actually, Orchard. Oh, she Holly Brannigan looking oh. to keep her. Holly Brannigan prevented a try in the first half, but she's unlucky. Very, very unlucky there to Not stop. for lack of effort. Two very, not, very um, quick players. Not to stop uh, Ashley Orchard there. So Orchard storming over. A fantastic individual effort there. She thought, they thought maybe she was stopped there in midfield, but she wasn't held. She got back up on her feet. Referee says play on and she stormed over for her side's fourth try. It looks like uh, young Tams and Boyce has come off in favour for her twin, Georgia Boyce. <laughs> <laughs> Let's see you can there tell the go. difference between the two. Uh, thank, thank for there. It's the, <laughs> the numbers on there. So <laughs> let's hope we don't see the Malone heads drop here. No. So Amanda Morton here with the conversion. Amanda converted the last try, scored there in this half, and yeah, she made that look easy. Lovely Amanda strike there between the posts. The twenty-six yeah, five. And we are all of a sudden. Two converted tries and then just shows you how a game of rugby can just change in a matter of minutes. Absolutely. The diligence from Cook seems to just open the game up for them a little bit. So Holly Brannigan, she went down the middle of the park for the last restart. Just going to her left here. Oh, oh a little bit of a spill yeah, there from, the, from Ashley oh, Orchard. But she tend to recover and there she's off on another run. And just, which is brought... Yeah. Looking for Shutter a gap a little bit there. there. But the ball's not coming back, so what can they do? Oh, McAllister, mm -hmm. quick and go. And an alarm oh, McGuinness. Is McGuinness, I thought she was just going to make a break there, but no joy. I think is that Jill Stevens? Is still, still on the ground there. there. She hasn't got up from that tackle. <laughs> oh, she's looks a little bit sore. And could maybe force them to another change at half back, but we're, the play continues from the far corner. See Sarah Murphy there at the back of her up. Out to Fern Wilson. Oh, that's a powerful it's a big run from carry Wilson. from Fern. Fern Wilson's definitely one of those players who's perfectly happy anywhere on the pitch. McAllister. There's Carol on Neil. Neil. Yeah, and it's probably the first time again, too, you see Malone just making yardage. Oh, it seems There's Malone have lost the ball uh, there. Yeah, since the commentator's curse again there. They made a bit of yardage <laughs> there from the last few carries and then. All of a sudden, they get there's a big run from Elsa. Turned over and Elsa and Stan making <laughs> making big yards there, making that exit strategy a, a lot easier for Cook. And there's there's another powerful India Daly by the looks of it. India Daly, so Pays is getting a bit too close to the injured party, so we're Looking going to, to halt the proceedings here. Well, I think we may have Amanda Morton step into to fly half now, but we'll we'll see what the girls decide. Ashley Orchard looking mm -hmm. a little bit sensitive walking off the pitch there. There's a couple of unfortunate injuries yeah. for Cook. Tia Maguire actually coming back in. Oh. So Tia will be... Uh, Tia is another versatile player, so... Yeah, well, they'll keep uh, Hannah Downey in at scrum half and will Downey go to the out half? Uh, I'm, I'm not sure. Well, we'll have to see what the, what the girls decide, having versatile players. <laughs> 
It looks like Dolly will say it's grown up. I also keep the opposition thinking. <laughs> Absolutely. But uh, <laughs> Hannah Downey is going to be feeding the ball into the scrum. Looks like so we might have Tia step into fly half here. Oh, the, a big carry from side. McGee. McGee. They've let her run yeah. with that. McGee, Can Holly take her week? down? She's been looking for a try this week. She hasn't got on the, the score sheet tonight yet. Alone keeping the ball alive. And the it's some great offloading game there from Cook. Making great inroads into the uh, Malone defence. Big McGee. run there. Oh, oh McCord. McCord that was, she'll not be far off the player of the match tonight. <laughs> for runs on her two tries. But India Dilly there. Another Decides run from McCord. Can't get going any further. Supported so by Eamon McQuillan. Oh, no, referee tackle. not happy with that tackle there. You can see the. I think that maybe hurt a little bit. You can see the, the, the strength in the Cook team starting to show now in the closing stages of, and their fitness. I think uh, potentially depth of bench, you know, having a few more sets of fresh legs have maybe helped Cook in the second half. Yeah. Had uh, the option there six substitutes while uh, Malone actually, well, originally had two, but they were down to one. They lost Jennifer Collins very, very late to an injury. So leaving Donna McGovern as the only Malone replacement. Referee so seems yeah. happy just to take a penalty. Yeah, just a high tackle. Just a, what do they call a seatbelt tackle? Just coming around over the shoulder. Yep. There's the Elsevier yeah. and lining up there. Yeah. <laughs> that seemed yeah, like Malone parted the there. Breaks through two tackles there. Can, can Holly Brannigan stop her in the tracks? <laughs> no, she can't. And I think Elsevier got the wheels on there. Yeah. Elsa just showing all her power and strength <laughs> just to go. I say, tail all props at all grades, at all stands, Robbie. Run straight. Absolutely. That's just that, that's a life number, lesson right there. The number one rule of being a prop, run straight. And that's what Elsa did. And she powered her way through there. And Pins. that's another try there for Cook. Their, their fifth of the evening. Taking the tally out to 31, just the, what they scored last week. 31-5, conversion to come. It looks like we have our... Yeah. our Malone substitute there, Donna. Yeah, Donna coming McGovern on. coming on there. In, a, in favour of Anna Stanfield. Stanfield. Stanfield's put in an excellent shift today on the wing. But yeah, she registered uh, Malone's only scorer of the evening as the one starts. It's a ninth, tenth place playoff, uh, Gemma. Is, and when you see the state of play and also recently no players in the Ireland squad, it's, it's a disappointing but probably true reflection of her also rugby is at the minute unfortunately it, it it is i think having uh having an injection of international players in ulster it certainly brings up the quality of rugby i think uh wherever they play you know they, they certainly help with player development of their teammates um, and it would be nice certainly to see uh more of that in ulster There's certainly some players there who are, who are working hard to to try and get that green jersey but uh unfortunately we we haven't been able to realize any of that yet it seems. But here we go, Cook. Their, their fitness is. There's Georgia boys and, making a run. Death was, oh, squad kept, death is making us present. Kept in felt. by the looks of it. Oh, touch judge feeling the bit his line. There's flag up there. Oh, young feet Georgia. Feet. I think their feet were in touch. I think so. Uh, I think yeah. I think it was a line out. Seems to be walking it off. That was a, a good yeah, first run for Georgia. <laughs> <laughs> a nice welcome to the contest there. <laughs> Absolutely. Uh, yeah, just, she's, she's actually laughing it off there. <laughs> so here we go. That's, that's youth on her side, I believe. Yeah. Actually, Curry with this Malone line out. Mm, referee not quite happy with the, the distance yeah. of the two line outs there. Sarah Murphy getting in for a lovely clean uh, lift to Lauren McGuinness. Good, good line out. No. Not straight. Well, it wasn't straight, but he's uh, he's actually blown the offence up against Cook for a, an early lift. So Malone have a free kick. 
very, very close eyes. There you go. <laughs> so There's Sherelle Wilson getting us going again. McGuinness taking oh, the carry. Enough for the first time McGuinness carrying the can and the bottle there for Malone. McAllister and his Sarah Fizzling Murphy's hands. Right across, right on the Murphy. Murphy's and been another very dynamic front row we're seeing. Fought well there. Very much a stalwart Malone player. You often expect to see her on the team sheet. Is that yeah, lovely work there from Jill Stevens. Lovely pass there for Janet Oh, McCall. it seems the ball has been oh, yeah. ripped by Cook. Yeah. Would Cook looking to slow that ball yeah. down and let themselves get a bit of shape. Cook just dictating the pace of the game now. Just will keep it tight when they want and they'll move the ball at the pace when they want. Let's see if the game won and you can see that Malone defence being sucked in there, There's creating Eamon gaps McClellan. out wide. So if the, yet again, you know, if they could but a quick ball and they could be you'd be looking at another breakaway try. There's Fiona McCocken. Oh, oh, he's looking looking to make up for the yellow card, maybe trying to be a bit too hard, but just spilling that ball as she went under contact. Unfortunately, she doesn't seem too happy. <laughs> But uh, the benefit of, of Cook having that experience scrum, they're not always too upset when they, they have to get set for another. Yeah, just waiting on Hannah Biddy just to join the scrum there. She's limping in. She's put in quite an effort tonight, is Hannah, there in the second row. She's taking a so fix. There she's having a little stretch. Stretch. <laughs> <laughs> She'll be looking forward afterwards to get maybe in the, the, the ice bath or the, or the warm foam bath roller or, or maybe foam both. <laughs> the foam roller and the resistance bands just they get rid of. Oh, it does, yeah, it appears she is taking a cramp. <laughs> Look, it looks like she's being helped out by her, her own teammate there, Cara. Uh -huh. Always benefits to have a young physio on the pitch with you. <laughs> young Cara studying physiotherapy in uh, the University of Ulster, I believe. Let's see another so scrum. We go, we'll scrum. Wilson getting that ball in and McGuinness just looking to get that out. She doesn't uh, seem like she's quite able to this time. Yes, Let's come at the feet of Could take that Laura one McGee. against the head. Just McGuinness, McGuinness just running out of gas. Oh, oh some great lovely take from Hannah rugby. Downey there. Some lovely rugby there from Cook. <laughs> the two scrum halves, Maguire and Downey combining. Some There's Caelan McCormack. McCormack just trying to beat away the, the best efforts here of Jill Stevens. Go le she goes left. Katie Hetherington. The provocations of her teammates. And down there again, but and there's Malone. They, just when you think they're tired, they're still wanting to carry the can. Big no run from Guinness. Yeah, but she's she's isolated. She's went on her own. Malone players getting there to support her. They did well to keep that. There's young Fern oh, Wilson. Oh, what a break! Oh, power Smith. in the legs there. Doing remarkably well, taking a ball. That's a great line there. Excellent running from Fern there. But there's an order, I think it's a little legal pooch there from Maguire. And yet again, when Malone, just when we think they're, they're, their light's going to go out, they come fighting back. They get just takes one ball carry and it galvanizes the rest of the team. Absolutely. They, they, they're responding very, very well when they do get that quick turnover. So Brannigan kicking into the corner. Hannah Biddy's still looking quite sore there. <laughs> so it'll be the, Mal yep. the Malone. So we're going to just wait on a ball here so we can get a, a line out. A Malone line out. So let's see what, what tricks have got up their sleeve here as the game enters its final minutes. Cook leading. 36 points to five. Oh, and she's overshot oh. that, but. Cook once again, I think, yeah. an early lift. An early lift again, it's quite, just exact as the last line out. Not what you want to see in your own 22, especially when Malone are starting to gather a little bit of momentum. Yeah, and another strong carry there from McGuinness. There's Ooh. Murphy trying Murphy to power again. it through. Oh, and she's been, Seen that ball rough from there by India Daly. There's a good kick Cook, from yeah, Hannah Cook. Downey, I believe. Downey just kicking into that one there. Showing off her, her football prowess. 
There's Peter the McAllister. A lovely slice step there from the Malone captain. Let's see what can. Oh, Malone there's do a pick here. from Sherell Wilson. Wilson, oh, he's getting quick ball back there, but referee. Something there, he was filling out a scrum half, just couldn't get their hands on the ball. And just spilled that ball forward. That's the unfortunate thing when you lose your scrum half into into a carry, yeah. especially with the pressure on. Uh, just about sums up Malone's at night. Let's see, we're going in for another scrum. And again for another scrum. A familiar sight this evening, I think. Yeah, but overall, it's it's been. It's been quite a good game, uh, considering the conditions and the scoreboard. A bit harsh in Malone. I think so, yeah, definitely. Both teams have certainly put up a, a big fight, and Malone certainly haven't sat down and, and taken the score lightly. Um, you know, Even now, as we enter into the final few minutes, they're, they're continuing to fight there. You know, absolutely have to give them kudos for the show. 36-5, it doesn't tell the full story of this Absolutely. keenly contested Belfast derby. And of course after the, the yes. energy of all Ireland League, the yes, tension so turns to the all Ireland another Cup, ball. still plenty of gas left and Not Elsa, often. Elsa van Staden's uh, <laughs> coming into you know, nearly a full 80 minutes for a front row. Yes. There's Katie Hatherington looking to step. Oh. Oh. Kicks ah, it out. Just happy enough to kick it out there was Katie. And she's she'll be more than happy with the result as well as they see off alone for the second Saturday in succession Absolutely. there. I don't think she saw anything coming yeah. there. So 